the score as Turner runs away for Richmond. Just over 10 minutes remaining in the first half. Good mark taken by Matthew Rogers. Kicked a goal in the first quarter. Four Umpires marks. down, umpires down. Yes, he's, and he's not moving, but Matthew Knights is. The umpire's flat on his back. Richardson is marked on 50. They're calling for a stretcher. Richardson plays on. He's going to get tackled from behind. Not before he gets it to McQueen. 40 metres out. Kicks into the man on the mark. And Carlton are going to get out of this. Still the umpire's down. There are players running absolutely everywhere. Not worrying about it is Troy Bond. Kicks back towards Hannah, who marks in front of Rogers. Did you see that, Robbo, with the no, umpire? No, I didn't. Obviously, uh, he's run into a player without uh, just turning and not noticing the player was there. He looks as though he's in a lot of strife, though. Wouldn't it not, not be a common sense thing now to stop this and try and work out that he should come off the ground and there must be an emergency guy there? Well, of course he should. I mean, it's all I just can't believe it. I think they've just passed the message on now. Yes. Yes, they uh, It's amazing, isn't it, that this doesn't happen more often with three umpires on the ground. With 40, with uh, 36 guys running around at full pace, that yep. one of them doesn't get knocked over on a more regular basis. Yeah, just a minute off the, having a rest at the moment. I, look, I, I, I don't think the equation's that in. I, I think that with one umpire, they used to get bowled over. With two umpires, they used to get bowled over. I mean, it is a game where it's going to happen. It is a contact game, and unfortunately, um, it, it, it's the Jordan Frame too, isn't it, they're putting on him? It's Chris Bradshaw, the Richmond doctor, out there at the moment. Yeah. I'll tell you what, this does not look at all good. They still appear to be unconscious. All you can say is, you know, he, he certainly is in the best hands these days. And, um, you know, all trainers of all football clubs go through enormous drills. They're as, as well drilled as a lot of the players in a lot of areas, Tony, aren't they? And exactly what should happen in this circumstance. Yeah, they are. I mean, the doctors are straight out there and the trainers, and they go through all their courses. And, I mean, the ones down at the club are fantastic. You know, you've got any problem, and they, they get straight into it, and they know exactly what to do. So it is fortunate we're in that situation. Well, I'm sure that Dipper will uh, bring us up to date with any news as soon as uh, he's taken from the ground and his condition assessed. And, and I might add, uh, just who it is as Glenn Manton takes the call. Because uh, we certainly can't pick up from our vantage point here just who that umpire is. Although we do understand it could be Darren McCall. We will confirm that. With all precaution being taken as they remove him from the ground and let's hope that he's going to be okay. So we have an emergency umpire coming onto the ground. That will be Mark McKenzie. And Darren McCauley. Stretch it from where we can. So the situation here is that Richmond still lead, but Carlton has cut that lead. It is now just 12 points. I really hope Richmond use the break to their advantage. I think Carlton are just starting to gain a bit of momentum and a bit of ascendancy, so I hope the, the leadership boys are out there, you know, getting everyone organised. Yeah, it's interesting that uh, they placed a neck brace on by Darren McCauley prior to lifting the stretcher. Well, we'll just keep our fingers crossed. Straight down to the race. Mill Hanna was the player with the ball on the half back flank. And uh, I've seen Dipper down there. He's uh, very close to the race. I'm sure he'll have a report for us soon. But 